because we've discovered that a lot of our waste inventory that we think was or had previously thought was remote handle waste is actually able to be contact handled or processed in a hands-on manner. And so we built the cash processing enclosure to allow us to take that waste into a facility where waste operators can, can process it in a hands-on manner rather than using remote handle manipulators that are very time consuming and, and stressful to operate. What that concept did was take two years off of our schedule and uh, it allowed about 180 casts to be diverted through this process. Uh, the thing that that does for us and for DOE is it gives a window to, of opportunity to go in, take the hot cell out of service, and a lot of that equipment is badly worn, badly in need of refurbishment. We'll, we'll take that opportunity in FY13 before bringing the hot cell into, in, back into service. The CPE will go into service in no later than mid-July. We just completed the readiness assessment and we'll process in parallel in the CPE the 180 casks while we're doing the refurbishment of our hot cell. The cask processing cost us about six million dollars to build over a two-year lifespan. Uh, the savings though is, is significant. If we take about two years off of the remote handle waste processing schedule which is about twenty million dollars worth of uh, schedule savings uh, so the return on investment is is in the fifteen million dollar range 